Why, hello everyone, this is Shadow Studios 9 here, and what is, is this, is this my Tinkerbox map? This is my Tinkerbox map. I'm making things again. I just, I can't, I can't help myself. I must create. It is my destiny. Okay, so I was playing around with, I believe it is Tango Tech's silo design, and I thought, you know, it shouldn't be too hard to like supersize this and double the storage and simplify it a little. So what I made is the super silo. That is right. Instead of having one chest per level, this baby has two chests per level and one light for each chest on said level. So this easily doubles your storage with, you know, actually when you make the design bigger, it becomes easier to build and it doesn't take up that much more room than this. This guy is one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, whereas this guy's only one, two, three, four by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you know, you less, if you built two of these side by side, it would be slightly bigger than just building the mega silo to begin with. And it's pretty easy. Um, there's two different setups you can do with it, and I'll show them both with you. Uh, you can use this minecart setup to kind of get them to roughly even distribute so the lights will light up like doink, 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 doink. Uh, if you're feeling kind of lazy though and you don't want to do the whole minecart setup, you can build it in a slightly easier way so it just goes one side and then the other side. So I'll show you both, but we'll start with the very basic design here. All right. So what's in my inventory are really all the blocks you're going to need. You're going to need a trap chest, a normal chest, uh, a building block of your choice, a redstone lamp, some sort of stone brick stair, a hopper, and a comparator. All right, so we're going to start out by building this first level here. It's pretty easy. So what you're going to do is you're just going to build out some bricks, and then you're just going to throw out a chest and then you're going to put in your first set of redstone lamps. I think I messed that up a bit. It's supposed to be two blocks on either side. There we go. And then you're going to want to use, oh, wrong way. You're going to want to use a stair to keep this chest openable. All right. Now the downside of this version versus this version is it's not going to tell you when items are in the lowest chest. However, uh, since the lights will be on here, you should be able to figure it out pretty easily. Okay, so now what you're going to do is put some blocks against the lights, and then have another set right here, and then you're going to throw down two comparators, and now you're going to throw down a series of hoppers that connect you to the, to the, uh, the chest there, and then you're going to throw down a pair of chests like so. And that's pretty much it for the first layer. Now then you're going to go ahead and build up a second layer of your wall. And this time you're going to throw a block here and here on the sides. And you're going to throw down two comparators. And then you're going to put two hoppers coming out from these two chests. And then you're going to go ahead and throw down two chests like so. Pretty easy. And now you're going to repeat this layer. Add a new layer for the wall. Throw down your lights. Add some hoppers to these chests so it can go upwards. Throw down a chest and a trapped chest and put some blocks against this wall and down here like this and add comparators. And you can keep doing that as far up as you want. And now how there are two ways you can add blocks into this system. You can do the simplified way like this. Now for the most part if you are inputting like this What's going to happen is one of these sides is going to fill up before the other, which is fine. If you want something more aesthetically pleasing, you can do a rail system like I did over there, which is pretty simple. So you simply 
have two hoppers and some blocks like so. All right. And then you're going to need some powered rails to throw along it. And then you're going to need a redstone block. And we'll just throw it on the side of the rails here. So that way it doesn't interfere with these hoppers. And then you're going to get, oop, nope, you're going to get a hopper cart. Just go ahead and throw it on the rails. It's going to start going back and forth. And then above it, you're going to throw in a, oop, I already have chests. And then you're just going to simply feed in to this chest through whatever way you want. And because the hopper cart is going back and forth, it's going to roughly even distribute between these two chests, which is roughly going to evenly distribute both sides of the super silo. So that's it for my uh, souped up version of Tango Tech's silo. I will put his original video in the description and I hope you liked my souped up version. And it's pretty easy, the pattern's pretty simple. You can keep building it up as far as you want and get a crud ton of storage. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please like. If you have any ideas for something you want to, for me to try to build, go ahead and leave a comment below. And right now, uh, the Amplified World is having some work done to it, so that's why I've been doing these building things. And I'll probably keep doing these building things in between working on things in the Amplified World. So, I hope to see you guys all next time, and until then, uh, doodles!